Well, we're not sure about how it happened, but you can see how, how it wound up. Um, uh, pretty significant crash on the interstate. Um, all parties involved were transported to the hospital for further evaluation. Um, but everybody was conscious and alert and talking when they left. I saw some of your paramedics working with some very, very young children. How much of a challenge is that? Well, uh, anytime you're working with a child, with a small child or anything like that, you can't, um, they can't tell you where they're hurt or if, or if they're hurt, they're just usually crying and all that kind of stuff. So you have to take their, their normal status and, and try to evaluate what's hurt and, what, and what's not. And but, did the firefighter extricate that woman out of the Honda? We had, we had one, one patient that was, that was trapped. Um, the door was jammed. We had got the door out of the way and then, uh, miraculously she was not pinned by the vehicle or anything like that. Airbags did deploy and everything and she was stable when she left. And considering what this crash looks like, that's almost a miracle, isn't yes, it? Yes, considering the mechanism of injury here, it's, it's, uh, it, it is uh, almost a miracle. And I understand from one of the witnesses that she was very pregnant? She was 37 weeks. She was not having contractions or her water had not broke yet. What do you want to tell people about slowing down in this area? Especially this is a in this area. Oh, Lord, we're out here every day for crashes. We know, everybody's known, it's been well advertised. When you come to the 1675 split from all directions, please slow down and just pay attention to your drivers, uh, to, the, to the other drivers, to the other vehicles. Uh, this stuff changes from day to day as they're working on it, and it's gonna be an ongoing process. If you can avoid this area, avoid it at all costs.